Hey guys, 7 WWE Rocks here, and I'm here to do my TNA Bound for Glory 2017 predictions. It is, it is of course, this Sunday, November 5th, 2017, like I said, and um, this is the big one. This is, you know, TNA's, the, their WrestleMania, their, you know, monster pay-per-view. Um, they only do two pay-per-views a year now, but this is, you know, the biggest one for them. Um, and eight matches on the card, and I go back and forth on this, because I haven't watched TNA um, I skip through, I, I record every show and I, you know, skip through just to see what's going on. I usually only watch the main events. Um, part of me is thinking this card could have been a lot worse, especially with all the talent leaving. I know it's not big talent, but you had people like Taryn Terrell, which had to, they had to shift the uh, card itself. Rockstar Spud left. Um, a bunch of just like enhancement talent, just random people that you kind of forgot were even on the company, but um, the, it could have been a lot worse, I feel like. It's actually a pretty good card, but then there's also part of me that's like, wow, this this should be a lot better. Um, I'm not going to get it. I, I, I think I've only gotten like two or three TNA pay-per-views ever um, since I became a fan, but here are my predictions. No particular order. Let's get right into it. Um, we got Rosemary versus Taya Valkyrie in a red wedding match, which is basically just first blood. I'm going to say Rosemary wins it. Taya beat her on impact in just a regular match. I think Rosemary will get the win. Um, team, e team TNA, Eddie Edwards, EC3, and James Storm, which just real quick, that I'm, I'm really sad about all three guys being just thrown together in a tag match. Eddie Edwards, he should be doing something better. EC3 definitely should be doing something better. And James Storm... I'm hearing rumors he's going to leave the company, um, or he it looks like he's going to leave. His thing ends in January, I think, but I think these tapings might be his last um, last TNA shows. But that team is taking on Team AAA, uh, which is El Hio, Del, Del Fantasma, uh, Pagano, and Tejano. So I'm just going to say Team TNA, I think, is going to win this one. I think it'd be kind of stupid if Team uh, AAA won. Abyss versus Grado in a Monsters Ball match. If Grado loses, he must leave America forever. Sadly, I think Grado's gonna win this. I like Grado, but I, I'm just I'm really really shocked he has made it this far on TNA. Not because I don't think he's talented or whatever, but I just feel like it's crazy. He's in a he's in much bigger storylines than regular people, which is kind of weird. Um, and I remember people saying like, if Grado is still with the company by so and so date. I'm, I'm done watching TNA, and that was legit like two years ago, so I think that's crazy. Um, but I'm going to say Grado, I think, is going to win and continue on with the tapings. Uh, Moose and Stefan Bonner versus Lashley and King Mo in a six sides of steel cage match. It's a tag team match. we got MMA people, Stefan freaking Bonner. The only reason why I know him is uh, the UFC video game I had. Um, and I knew it just because Forrest Griffin versus Stefan Bonner in the Ultimate Fighter, I think, the finale, um, where they're just beating the crap at each other, and just blood is all over. That's probably my favorite UFC fight. I'm not a big UFC fan, but that was that's the one I usually always remember uh, when I think of UFC. It's crazy that he's the hair, but um, Lashley and King Mo, uh, King Mo, I don't, I, I don't know why he just keeps coming back to TNA, but Moose and Stefan Bonner, I think, should get the win. It's sad Moose and Lashley have this, though. Um, Sienna versus Ali versus Gail Kim for the knockouts title. I know most people are predicting Gail Kim to win it just because it's her last show. But I say Ali actually gets the upset win and Gail Kim gets the standing ovation. Ali leaves the ring and lets Gail Kim have her moment. Because I don't see her winning the title and then them just doing the tapings, to having like another tournament or something. That would kind of suck. Um, so I'll say Ali actually wins it. Ohio versus everything versus LAX in a 5-1-5-0 street fight for the tag titles. I'm saying Ohio versus everything is going to win it just because they have Sammy Callahan on their side. If you didn't know, they, uh, TNA had a vignette or a promo uh, with OVE and they saw you saw a slight glimpse of Sammy Callahan giving the thumbs down. So he'll be making his debut at Bound for Glory, which is awesome. It should be a very chaotic match and I think all hell is going to break loose. OVE retains the tag titles. In a six-way exhibition title match, Trevor Lee is defending his title against Desmond Xavier, Matt Seidel, Garza Jr., P.D. Williams, and Sanjay Dutt. The, originally, I think it was only supposed to be like four or five people, and it was going to be an Ultimate X match, but then they changed it, added one other person, and then made it just a six-way, which kind of sucks. I like Ultimate X, and I think at Bound for Glory, you should have one of those. Kind of like the money in the bank for WrestleMania when it used to only be at WrestleMania. I'm going to say Matt Seidel is actually going to get the win. Maybe Desmond Xavier, Desmond Xavier, but I think Matt Seidel will win this one. And I would like that. I, I really would like to see him with the X-Division title. 
Last but not least, the world title, the GFW world title, even though TNA broke ties with Jeff Jarrett and GFW, so I'm guessing new titles. Eli Drake is defending against Johnny Impact. I would like to see Johnny Impact win, I guess, but I think Eli Drake will retain. It's kind of, This is kind of a sad main event. I feel like this could be a lot better. I'm not really the biggest fan of Eli Drake. I, th I think he's great on the mic, but... Rest, I, I'm just never excited for an Eli Drake match, and um, I think he is slightly overrated. I don't want to be rude, and I, I know people will be like, you haven't even watched Tina, you, know, you don't know what you're talking about, and that's probably true. Um, but I think a lot of people really, really like him, and I just I just don't see it. I really don't. But um, I'll say Eli Drake retains. Maybe Alberto El Patron shows up at the end. He's supposed to be at Bound for Glory. He's supposed to make his great return, which is sad. I'm not a fan of him. I wish TNA would have broke ties with him as well. But we'll see. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Let me know your predictions down below in the comment section. And if you're getting this show, if you're going to watch it, please let me know. Let me know if it's good and whatnot. So thanks so much for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, all the good stuff. Follow me on Twitter at 7WBRocks. Thanks again, guys. And as always, have a great day.